Hello, and welcome to Kids Virtual Yoga. My name is Michelle, this is my friend Kyan, and today we're going to explore space. If you wait till the very end of the video, you can catch an interview with Kyan and learn a little bit more about him. So are you ready, Kyan? Mm -hmm. Let's put on our space suits, grab our helmets, and hop into the rocket ship. It's time for blast off. <laughs> Today, we are going to begin with alternate arm and leg kicks. So we're gonna to come to the ground onto all fours. So spread your fingers nice and wide like starfish, and your hands are gonna be right underneath your shoulders. Your knees are gonna be right underneath your hips, and the top of your feet are gonna be pushing into the ground behind you. And we are gonna do alternate arm and leg kicks. So to begin, let's just raise one arm, Kyan, one of our arms. Good, and then let's raise the other arm. Good, we're trying to stay balanced and steady. We're gonna raise one of our legs. Good, and the other leg. Good, all right, so you can keep just working on arms and legs. Kyan, do you wanna show them an alternate arm and leg kick to start? So you can see Kyan is using one arm and one leg, and then switch to the other side. Good. As the astronauts go to space, they need to prepare. Their bodies need to be really strong. They need to be healthy. They need to do lots of exercises. So this is what we're doing right now. We're preparing our bodies for space travel. How are you feeling, Kyan? Are you nice and warmed up? Yeah. You ready to go to space? Mm -hmm. All right, mission control just called and we are clear for a takeoff. So we're gonna step one of our feet back and another foot back, and we are in a nice strong plank pose. Now, if you get tired in plank pose, it's totally okay. Just lower your knees and take a rest. Otherwise, we're ready for blast off. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, great job. Lower your knees, lower your body all the way to the ground. Send your fingertips out in front of you. Raise your heels towards the sky. Raise your hands off the ground, and we are at blast off. This is Superman or superhero pose. Go ahead and rest. Let's do one more Superman or superhero pose. We are blasting through the atmosphere, almost ready to be in space. So go ahead and put your starfish hands underneath your shoulders again. Curl your toes under. Use all your muscles to push yourself up. Lift your hips to the sky and send your heels towards the ground. And we are in a downward dog. Go ahead and pedal your feet. We've broken through Earth's atmosphere and now we're floating in space and it feels so cool to not have gravity, doesn't it, Kyan? Yeah. And they made us a really cool rocket ship. So right below us is a great big window and we can see Earth below us. Do you see Earth below you, Kyan? Yeah. It looks so far away. Good, okay, we're gonna walk our hands our feet up to meet our hands, and we're gonna slowly rise up. Good, we're on our way to Mars. I can't believe it, Kyan, we've worked so hard to get here. We're gonna step really nice and wide. Our toes are gonna point forward. We're gonna put our arms out to the side, and we're in a nice, strong star pose. <laughs> Good, there's so many stars to see out in our galaxy, and they're so bright. Such a beautiful view. Earth is getting farther and farther away. We're gonna step our feet together. Our feet are gonna be about two fists worth of space apart. We're gonna stand nice and tall, engage our leg muscles, engage our core muscles, and engage our arm muscles, and we're in a nice strong mountain. Now, as we approach Mars, we notice there are lots of mountains 
in Mars, all over the place. Raise your laser beam fingertips up to an upward mountain. There are some really tall mountains on Mars. They're very fun to explore. We're going to take our laser beam fingertips and we're going to curve our body to the side for a crescent moon. Mars has two moons. Did you know that, Kyan? Okay, well, here's one moon. Let's lift up again and let's see the second moon on Mars. So exciting. And lift up again for an upward mountain. Good. Go ahead and bring your hands down to your heart. Kyan's going to stay facing you and I'm going to turn this way. We've had a really great time exploring Mars, haven't we, Kyan? But it's time to come home. So we're going to raise our arms back up to the sky and we're going to bend our knees and sit back as if we're sitting in a chair. Chair pose. Our rocket is descending back to Earth, breaking through Earth's atmosphere. There's so many people waiting for us to return. Go ahead and stand up. We're going to step one foot back. So our feet are like on two railroad tracks. Our toes are pointed forward. Good. Raise our arms up. Bend that front knee. Warrior one. When we get back to Earth, we're heroes. Everyone is cheering and clapping for us. All right, let's go ahead and switch legs. Good. Everyone's so happy that we accomplished our mission and that we made it home safe. Good. All right, step back up. All right, time to calm down after all that excitement. We're back home now, ready to sleep here back on Earth. Kyan, let's do some belly breathing. How many breaths should we do? Ten. Ten. Okay. I'm going to use my hands as a breathing ball. We're going to inhale through our nose, send that breath all the way to our tummies, and then exhale again. Are we ready? Will you count too, Kyan? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice and loud. Here we go. Great job today, future astronauts. Take a moment, notice how you feel. We'll see you again soon. So, Kyan, how old are you? I'm eight. Eight. Eight is great. <laughs> how long have you been practicing yoga? Um, five years. Five years? You've been practicing yoga since you were three years old? Mm -hmm. That's amazing. What do you like most about practicing yoga? It's calm and peaceful. Calm and peaceful? Yeah, I agree. Uh, why do you think other children should practice yoga? Um, so they can also be calm and peaceful? So they can be calm and peaceful? Yeah, I agree with that. Kyan, what is your biggest dream for the future? Mm, to be a YouTuber. To be a YouTuber? What kind of channel would you do for YouTube? I don't know. You don't know yet? You're still thinking about it? You mm -hmm. just want to be a YouTuber? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you could create one rule that everybody in the world had to follow, what would that rule be? Be nice. Be nice. I love that rule, Kyan. That's a great rule. Is there anything else you want to share? Mm, no. No? Hey, Kyan, you did really good today. Thank you for helping us explore space. It was really fun. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Nice work.